Hey kiddos, I'm glad you came for a reading lesson today. The only tools you will need today is your brain. You don't need your writer's reader journal or a paper or pencil. So just your brain today. So get that brain ready. And then at the end, you will do a pair deck uh, as an assignment. And we're going to try this new thing. So here we go. Today we are going to talk about... Pushing the right button. Talk about your thinking in book clubs and also how you can ask questions to clarify understanding. And so I'm gonna give you a few examples. Here we go. All right, when you are talking about your thinking in your book clubs or really any other book you are reading, either by yourself or you want to talk with someone in your household about it, you can start off your sentence with, I noticed that the author... You can think about all of the characters, behaviors, and thoughts. You can think about the topic of the book, especially if it is a nonfiction book, about the author. Have you read other books by the same person before? The dialogue or the talking. The high point, what's the climax of the story? You could talk about an illustration or drawing or photograph in a book. You could talk about the genre. You can make predictions about the story. You can talk about the setting or the title, the plot, which is what is happening in the story. You could talk about any symbolism that you see there or anything that might connect to your own life or things going on around you. You can talk about flashbacks where a character may have a memory of something that happened previous to this part or to this story. You could talk about a part that is interesting, funny, confusing, exciting, or surprising. You could even talk about words or phrases that you like the sound of. When you ask questions to clarify your understanding, and all of these questions come from a book named A Boy Called Bat. Why does it seem like Bat's mom cares more about the animals than him? Could someone really have a skunk for a pet? Isn't the name Bat kind of mean since it came from kids making fun of him? These are all examples of how someone could ask questions to clarify their thinking about this book A Boy Called Bat which you should be able to find if you go to the Fort Vancouver Regional Library resources and see if you can borrow it digitally. Here are some other questions you might model after. Did anyone else wonder about? Why do you think... I didn't understand. Can you say more about that? Using the examples below, what are some other things you can say or ask about in book club? Now, if you are in my class, you are going to have this as an assignment in your Google Classroom as a pair deck. If you are not in my class, perhaps your teacher could make up his or her own pair deck, or you could just answer this question for him or her on paper or in class. Thanks for coming today. I'll see you another time.